The problem with fake ideas is that they create barriers of entry to the web development industry, which is a huge problem because with those barriers come a lack of diversity and inclusivity, um, which then leads to a lack of products that work for everyone. That's why like VR makes most women sick and voice recognition doesn't really work for women or people with accents. Um, it also leads to a lack of products that are created to solve actual problems like that we have. Like, we don't need a ride-sharing bus. We have buses. So all of these fake ideas turn our focus away from things that we should be creating to help society and really just to better ourselves as individuals or people in power, which is not chill. And I feel like we can fix this by having a real conversation about real ideas. Like, building for the web is actually kind of hard. It's okay to admit that. Uh, we don't learn alone. You can say you're self-taught, but really you're guiding your teaching. You don't just learn from out of thin air how to build for the web. You need support, whether it's in the form of books, courses, or people helping you. And it's okay to ask for help. Um, so by saying that we're self-taught and, and boasting that just makes other people who do need that extra support feel like they don't belong when they do. Our tools are far from perfect, which is why we feel like building for the web is getting harder. Um, and, it, and it is getting harder. But also, we are human. It's OK to get frustrated when we hit a problem, whether it's a problem from something we don't know or it's something that's constraining us because of the way that technology works today. Again, building for the web is very hard. We have a lot of constraints that stop us from doing all the things that we want to do. And when you hit that wall, it's really technically challenging, and it's emotionally challenging. That's what I love about the industry, but sometimes I have to shed a few tears along the way. So Glitch.com is a new product where we're taking a unique approach at building something where we can enforce those real ideas and really make building for web something that everyone can do and can continue doing, because inclusivity is of the utmost importance. So that's by sort of shifting our focus from what we individually need as engineers and looking to the bigger picture of what is best for all of us. Um, and that's by focusing on both the tools, but most importantly, the community. So tools are easy. It's just software, right? Uh, but any level of developer, whether they are thinking of maybe learning to code or they're experienced or experts and want to continue to learn, the first thing they want to do is actually build something. With Glitch, we've built an editor that allows you to build code, write code on the web, um, whether it's static or full page, uh, full stack web apps. And it's really cute. It kind of looks like a toy sometimes, but that's fine, because if you're going to be in front of a computer all day, you want to like, have a pleasant aesthetic experience with what you're building with. And we don't learn alone, so our editor allows multiple users at once to collaborate, so you compare. Um, I'm really good at finding free stock images, so this is the team, as is captioned. Uh, so we all want to work on a cool team, preferably of fuzzy dogs. Uh, and a lot of software that's being built today allows us to work as teams, be it the products that Lassian's putting out, um, code pen, JS bin, all these other tools that allow you to work together. And I think it's really important that we continue doing that because we want to learn with other people, be it our coworkers or just randos on the internet that want to help us. <laughs> 